welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a crock pot recipe video. This is part of the YouTube Mommy Meetups Crocktober, where every day for the month of October, at least one new recipe for the crock pot is uploaded to the playlist. So, so I will have that playlist linked down below and up in the cards. So make sure you check out everybody else's recipes if you need some good crock pot recipe ideas. So today I am making slow cooker southwestern quinoa. I will leave that recipe linked down below. I found it on Pinterest and I've made it quite a few times and we really enjoy it. So for this you're going to need fajita seasoning, cumin, a can of chili seasoned beans. I got hot this time. Um, you could do mild or medium or whatever. Uh, diced tomatoes, corn, black beans, a pepper and onion blend from the freezer section and quinoa and then to top it off at the end we will add cheese. I'm also going to need garlic and vegetable or chicken broth. I am using this veggie broth concentrate. I don't want that with my dinner. Alright we're pretty much just going to add everything to the crock pot. We are going to add the chili beans undrained the tomatoes undrained, the black beans have been drained, the corn has been drained, add the whole package of fajita seasoning, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon minced garlic, my veggie broth concentrate enough to equal two and one fourth cups of veggie broth, and then the water to go with the veggie broth, which is two and one fourth cups of water. I'm going to stir that. And then I'm going to rinse off my one cup of quinoa and add that in. Stir that to combine. Then we're going to put the lid on it. The peppers will go in one hour before it's finished. We're going to set the crock pot on high for four hours, but I'm going to actually check it in two and a half hours and see how the quinoa is doing. Because it once the quinoa is done, it's done. And you'll be able to tell because it kind of has like popped open. So I'm going to check in about two and a half hours and see if it's time to add the veggies. All right, it's been right at three hours. And as you can see, most of the liquid is absorbed. I don't know if you can tell, but that quinoa has definitely popped open and expanded. So now I'm going to turn it down to low for another hour and I'm going to add in this three pepper and onion blend. No. No. Oh. All right, and that is it, it is done. You could add cheese to the crock pot, but I prefer to add cheese like separately since we're gonna have a lot of leftovers of this. Um, I'll just add cheese as we need it. You could eat this all kinds of different ways. We actually tonight are eating it as a side in like replacement of like rice and beans on taco night. We've actually eaten this as like burrito bowls. I added like chicken to it after it was all done and we've eaten it that way. But I think most of the time we eat it as a side Andy has to have some sort of meat with his dinner, so that's why we do it this way. Because you could actually eat this as a meal all on your own, and it'd be like, is it vegetarian? Yeah, because I use veggie chicken broth, or veggie broth, not veggie chicken. Um, I use veggie broth, so it would be like a vegetarian meatless meal if you just ate that. Because it's got a lot of protein and everything. Yeah. That is it 
for my video. I hope you like this recipe. If you try it, please let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to check out the playlist in the description box and up in the cards. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!